Before we get started, please download Java so that you're able to use this tool. Hi, this is a tutorial for how to use my RPG Maker Generator Parts Mover tool. To easily explain what this does, this takes the new files you've created slash downloaded or whatever and moves it into the generator folder so you have more things to work with when creating characters in RPG Maker. This works with MV slash MZ and I haven't used it in VX Ace yet, but the moving should work fine for that as well. If it doesn't, make sure to create an issue on GitHub. To start, you'll go to the releases and download the latest release. It should be a zip file. Unzip the zip file and there should be a folder. Inside the folder should be a jar file. We're going to be double clicking on this and opening it up to start the tool. So first things first, we need to get our generator folder. Easiest way to do this is to go to Steam, right click on your version of RPG Maker and click browse local files. Click on the generator folder and right click on the path right up here and click copy path. Now we paste this into our box right here using control V and that part's ready. Next, we need to choose what files we want to add. I personally like DJ990J's hair assets. And I'm gonna download all the assets that's in this pack right here. So now we have all the assets unzipped and ready to go. We're gonna do two examples of how movement works with this tool. So let's start with the beard folder. Drag it into this yellow box here and we can see the tool knows we wanna move this because it shows the path right under the yellow box. The beard is only set up for the male body type. So we hit male down here, we click the move button and boom, we're done. We get a results log every time we finish so we can quickly scan for errors. We only have check marks here, so it's all good. Let's see if it's made its way into RPG Maker MV. Well, seems A-OK. -okay. okay, let's click and drag all the other assets. We're gonna select all because as you can see from the folder, it has the different types of body types there. We hit move and wait a second and bam, let's look at that results log. You can probably tell, but some have check marks but have extra long messages. And that's because the files are getting renamed since there's a part that matches our new parts. Meaning there might be something that's rear hair 24 that we have to change to rear hair 26, something like that. Also, seems like there's an issue with some of the face parts. Anytime there's an issue, there will be a little X with an explanation. The formatting is a little messed up here because after the number, there's not an underscore. Let's fix this. So I'm gonna go into the folder, to the female body type folder. We're gonna hit F2 just so I can rename this or you can right click and hit rename. We're just adding an underscore in between the number and the C, right? Let's drag in these files by themselves and mark female because it's in the female folder. And ta-da, we fixed it. Last thing I wanna mention is this checkbox here. If you're creating your own parts like me or even need to edit a part because it gets visually messed up, you can replace the sprite instead of it being added as a new sprite. So as you can see here, these images I'm dragging in gets re-added and not renamed, like how it usually works. And now you can easily add dozens and dozens of new generator parts with ease and see them in action. If you have any questions, please go into the GitHub page and create an issue. If you need help finding it, click help in the tool and it'll take you there with ease. And that's it. Thanks for watching.